everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I am finally going to be talking about the new fragrances from Bath & Body Works. I try, I like to at least wait before I really talk about some fall releases until school starts because to me that's when summer is over at least mentally the the weather the conditions you know that goes on through till about huh, i really don't really see really traditional fall weather where i live probably mid to late october sometimes november but i said girl by the time you talk about these everybody gonna be over them so I said, let me go ahead and share my little two cents. So I'm going to start with the Halloween collection. They came out with three. Oh, and I'm going to do this in two parts. So this is fall round one, part one for me, because I want to divide it up because there are a lot of repackaged fragrances and yeah, I didn't want to do them all because I think it's like 14. 12 or 14 and that's pretty long and so i just wanted to divide it up so this is going to be part one and i'm going to start with the newer fragrance mist so that if they have another sale i'm sorry i didn't get this out before the 495 sale y'all but i'm sure that's when y'all got you know your fragrance mist that you'll know my thoughts because i know some people who may not have a Bath & Body Works and they rely in their area and they rely on reviews to see what they want to purchase online. That's another reason. I said, girl, go ahead and film this video. Okay, so today was the first day of school, y'all. I just got in. So if I'm a little stuttering and everything, I have been going nonstop this entire day, okay? <laughs> so bear with me. All right, the first one I want to talk about, let me, I, we're just going to start with the one I think got the most hype, the most exposure, promotion from Bath & Body Works. This is Vampire Blood. This has a nose of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. Okay, y'all, so this smells good. Now, this to me, it doesn't, you know, I'm bitter and in my feelings because I wanted ghoul friend. I like ghoul friend way better than vampire blood, okay? But if you like vampire blood, you're gonna like this. And I don't dislike it. It's a nice, pretty, a little bit perfumey, um, berry sweet scent. It's a sweet, fruity scent. It's pretty, I mean, it is pretty. Is it something you have not smelled before? I would say no. And plus, you smell the candle. And I can't remember if the candle smells exactly like this. Because I was so obsessed with Ghoul Friend. But yeah, this is pretty. It's If you like fruitier fragrances, maybe um, a little dark, mysterious, fruity fragrance that's sweet. This is nice. Um... I'm sure it was a hit because the candle is a hit. And again, this is Vampire Blood. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is Midnight Spell. This has notes of Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. This is one I think people aren't loving this. Now, me, I don't love it. Um, it, it puts me in the mind of, what's that something wild sand it puts me in the mind of love always wins the release for 2023 it's very unisex to me down the middle it can give cologne vibes it can give like clean soapy masculine kind of vibes but to me it's, it's unisex i know quite a few women are saying this just smells like a man but there are some women who like those boyfriend fragrances. This is one of them. Because I, you know me, y'all. I don't like smelling masculine. I will do unisex. I will not do masculine. 
To me, this is unisex, but it does lean a little bit more masculine, in my opinion. But it's, let me refresh this one. Yeah, it, it smells expensive when you first smell, spray it. It smells clean. It smells, um, I don't get the woody. I get that mystic air. It makes me think of fresh air note, but with a cologne vibe to it. And I like it. Now, I did take these to work because my friend was like, Shaughnessy, I gave away a lot of my fragrance mists. I want to rebuild up my collection. Um, I know you got them. So, you know, what do you think? So, I just brought them all in for her to smell. She did not like this one. She thought it smelled like cologne. And like I said, to me, it is unisex, leaning more masculine, but I would still wear it. If you like fragrances like from last year, well, the last couple years, if you like Wicked Vanilla Woods, they don't smell alike. But you know how Wicked Vanilla Woods was kind of darker, uh, to, it was unisex, some people, some women loved it, some didn't. That's the vibe I'm getting with Midnight Spell. Yeah, I like it. Now, I will say, this is one I don't feel like I need anything else with it because the more I keep smelling it, it does, it's leaning more and more masculine, but I'm still liking it. I still say unisex, but I'm going to say unisex leaning masculine. Now, I had my brother smell these three, and this was the only one he said he would wear. It was Midnight Spell out of this uh, trio for that they released for Halloween. So... It is more on the masculine side, but if you watch me, you know, I don't like smelling like a man. Here, let me spray this. I got such a bomb combo on today, y'all. I might have to show, share that with you all. Do another layering video because I am loving it. I'm gonna let that air out. While that's airing out, let's talk about Everlasting Magic. So this has notes of bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. Now this is one, <sighs> you know, as I'm smelling it now, it's making me think of velvet petals from Victoria's Secret, but that's garage if y'all hear that. But a little fruitier, it's nice, okay? It's nice. It's a it's kind of smooth, musky a hint of fruitiness. It's not fruity fruity. It's a hint of fruitiness. Maybe a little sensualness to this one. The, this is one, the more, because the more I smell Everlasting Magic, the more I like it. So yeah, this is a nice one. If you like perfumier fragrance smiths, this is the one I would go for. Okay, let's smell Midnight Spell again on my skin. Yeah, it does smell to me ma masculine, soapy clean a little unisex it, it, it still gives me unisex vibes yeah and it does put me in the mind of wicked vanilla woods they don't there's not a dupe they don't smell similar it's just in the same type of fragrance dna that's what i mean because this to me was unisex sometimes it i felt like it could lean more masculine but I felt like this was more straight down the middle. This is leaning masculine in my opinion, but I still like it. So there you go. If you uh, like fragrances like me, I would say give this a sniff. If you're one that does not like unisex fragrances at all, you might could just pass on Midnight Spell. Okay, since so this to me is its own little collection, I'm going to rank these, and y'all, I have no idea how I'm going to rank them. I'm going to have to re-smell them because I felt like, again, 
I feel like I've been saying this a lot. Um, like in my Victoria's Secret video where I just reviewed all of the new fragrances they released. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. Check it out. I don't know if I was blown away. So, hold on. Let me see what's coming in number three. Okay, number three is going to be Midnight Spell because this is one. It's not going to be just, oh, I just want to wear it. I can't wait to wear it. It's going to have to be one a fragrance that I'm going to have to think about and be like, oh, I need to wear this. What can I do with it? Because it's not one that I easily, I would easily think of to reach for to wear, but I still enjoy it. So number three is going to be Midnight Spell. Number two is going to be Everlasting Magic. And it's number two because I feel like sometimes I smell this, I like it. Sometimes I smell it, I'm like, mm. It's just one of those that I feel, you know how sometimes there's a fragrance and you're on the fence about it and sometimes you smell it, you're like, ooh, I like it. And sometimes you smell it, it's like, I don't know. It's not bad, but do you know? Do I really like it? That's how I feel about this one sometimes. So it's going to be number two, Everlasting Magic. And coming in at number one is Vampire Blood because, like I said, it's an easy, pretty, somewhat perfumey, very sweet scent. Fruity, sweet scent. So, yeah, it's an easy reach. Do any of these make me think fall, weather? Not necessarily. To me, each one of these can be worn year-round, really in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on the three fragrance mists, well, full size fragrance mists they released for the Halloween collection. Like I said, I don't know why they didn't release Ghoul Friend in a full fragrance mist. They did it, I think, in a shimmer mist, travel size. I don't want that. I wanted the full size, but oh well. Okay, so the next fragrances I'm going to talk about Let's go ahead and talk about leaves, shall we? Leaves has notes of crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. I know that some people are absolutely loving leaves, that they are obsessed with this. They are so happy it is back. And if you are one of those people, I'm happy for you. But I'm going to always be honest. And because, you know, I, <sighs> today I had to deal with a situation <laughs> that's making me, you know, I had to pull out my manager hat and i'm trying not to be too blunt but people i don't understand why people get upset i understand to a certain extent people get upset at reviewers if you don't like the fragrance and i believe that's the way how some people describe and relay their dislike so i always i'm always honest but i try not to be disrespectful of others who may like the fragrance. So I said all that to say, I personally don't understand the hype for leaves, but let me let me say this also. I've never liked leaves. I've never liked the candle really. I never got the hype with the candle. And I remember back in the day, I think this came out before and I honestly can't remember if I ever smelled the fragrance mist because I just don't when I see leaves, I'm like, why would I want to smell like leaves? That doesn't appeal to me at all. I can see home care, body care, it just it just goes way over, uh, over my head. I don't get it. So, to me, when I smell this, it does smell like the epitome of fall, okay? It smells, you get the apple, you get the spice, you get the warmth. It smells like fall. But it smells like fall home fragrance to me. It is no way I would ever want to wear. I haven't sprayed this on my skin. You know what? 
we're gonna do it now i don't want to i don't want to but let's see if if, if it changes my mind okay but my whoo, my thoughts on leaves home fragrance candle room spray it's no way I want to go around smelling like this. Now that's just me. So let, and as it's airing out on my hand, I don't think that's going to change y'all. But it doesn't sm stink. I'm not going to say it stinks. It just, you know how I told y'all sometimes with a candle, sometimes it takes me a minute to, to get with it in body care. I had that problem with cactus blossom because I didn't I didn't have the body care first. I had the candle first. So I just couldn't get with it. And sometimes I still feel and champagne toast. I had that issue with champagne toast because I had the candle first. Leaves, I've never had anything. I've smelled leaves, but I've never been a huge fan of the scent. Yes, this smells like potpourri to me. It just y'all this is going back this is going back i want my 1895 plus tax i don't want to I, like i said i'm not a big fan of leaves okay but let me tell you this my brother loves leaves the candle loves it so when i purchased this i said okay i know 99.9 percent .9 i'm not gonna like this for me because i don't i didn't even i didn't like the candle so i said i'll just give it to my brother Y'all, he smelled this. He wouldn't spray it on his skin either. He says, this is a home fragrance to me. I don't want to smell like this. So, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. So, and I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> I just don't understand why we are not going to like everything. Fragrance is very subjective. I mean, it's, it's just subjective, period. So, for me and my nose and my taste... This is a home fragrance to me. I'm not keeping this as a room spray for, for doggone almost $20. This is going back. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like home fragrance to me. It just smells like a home should smell. It, it, I, it, I know people are saying, well, you can layer it. I don't want to layer it. I don't want to layer it, okay? It's getting spicier. It's getting warmer. And I'm not a big fan of spice. Yeah, this just makes me think of fall candles and fall uh, room sprays. That's just what it makes me think of. Not bad, but it's just not my cup of tea for body care at all. Okay, so the next fragrance we're going to try, and these are all in like separate collections, y'all. So that's how we're doing it today. This next one is Together Weather. This has notes of blushing breeze, sugared cardamom, and soft cedar. Now this one is kind of hard for me to describe. It's soft, it's pretty, it's a little fresh, but also warm. I like this one. Now, Together Weather is being compared to Charosa Brazilian Crush Charosa 40 from Sol de Janeiro. So we, we're about to test it out, y'all, because I didn't immediately think of any fragrance when I sprayed Together Weather. And it's smelling totally different on the paper. So sometimes when I smell a fragrance mist, I immediately think it smells like this, that, and the other. I didn't get that with this at all. But the long, okay. Y'all, it does smell very similar to Chirosa 40. It does. Here, let me spray the top. Sometimes. I wouldn't say it's an exact dupe, but I would say together 
weather is similar. Let me look at these notes and look at the notes on Charosa. I, they don't have any of the same notes, and if I'm remembering correctly, no, none of the same notes, but it does smell very similar. So here's what I'll say. If this is almost $40, this is almost $20. Pick which one you like the best. Do pick, you know, you can get this on sale usually. You can get it for $4.95 sometimes. You get it for $5.95 sometimes. You can do the buy three, get three. It's ways to get Bath & Body Works fragrance mist way cheaper. So de Janeiro fragrance mist, all you're going to get is 20% off with Sephora. That's it. I've never seen these go on any type of sale. You can get the smaller one. The 8 ounce is 38 or it's almost $40. And then the 3 point ounce is $24. So if you don't want to spend that money, because I like uh, Brazilian Charosa 40. So I'm not going to say don't get it because I do enjoy it. I mean, this is my second bottle of it. But this is very similar. So I would say just... If you love Sol de Janeiro, you don't mind spending the money, get this. If you love Bath & Body Works and you want to, you know, save as much money as you can, get this. Because they both smell really good. To me, they both have nice packaging. Um, and you can't go wrong with either one of them. So those are my thoughts. I do think Together Weather does smell similar to Charosa 40. And let's smell it one more time. Like I said, very similar. I'm not going to say 100% though. I'm not going to say 100% of do, but it's they are close. Very close. Okay, this last fragrance mist we're going to talk about today has had quite a bit of controversy. Y'all, if you see blue icing on my hand or something or underneath this nail, I y'all made my day. A uh, former student came in and he was like, I'm here. I was like, what are you doing here? It's your first day of high school. He stopped by and surprised me and um, the secretary with cupcakes. And he wanted to update us on his, you know, summer and everything. And it just made my day. And I gave the cupcakes away to some of the students. And I'm noticing at dismissal that I, I have some icing that I just, it's not coming off easily. So if you see... You know how that blue, that food coloring icing is. That's what it is. But I, that was just, it just made my day. That made my day. Okay, so the controversial fragrance mist is Chasing Fireflies. This has notes of golden pear, jasmine blooms, and illuminated woods. Now, I have heard that people say this smells like bug spray. I've heard people say it smells like we got three different fragrance mists we're going to talk about and compare. I've heard people say they love it. I've heard people say they hate it. I, 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 it's just, whoo, I don't know what to expect when I spray this. Now, I have not smelled this one. I saved this one for us to smell together, okay? So, I'm about to spray this now. And we're about to see my thoughts on Chasing Fireflies. Now, as this is airing out some, I will say that i know some people are like whoa the perfume bottle is so pretty i just i just need it y'all i look at that perfume bottle it didn't move me at all to me it just looked like it looked like the fragrance mist but with a wooden top so <laughs> i don't get the hype people loving that packaging so i'm good because you know i'm very i don't be buying bath and body works perfumes full price ever Okay, who said this smells like bugs? This smells good to me. This smells good to me, okay? Let me look at the notes again. When I smell this, I think warm. I think woody. I think a little fruity darker deeper not sexy not edgy just a deeper warmer fruity scent i'm not really getting much sweetness i'm getting a little bit of that jasmine coming through 
And I know sometimes with Jasmine, I think sometimes that can smell to some people's nose like bug spray because alien, uh, that alien uh, goddess, no, it's not goddess. It's just alien. Terry Mugler's alien perfume. I've heard people say that. Uh, it smells like that. That jasmine, sometimes jasmine can, with some people's sense of smell, that's what they get. This smells good to me. Okay, so the first one we're going to compare it to is fairy tale. I've heard so many people say it's fairy tale, it's fairy tale, it's fairy tale. It's a repackage, it's a repackage. Right now, with me smelling chasing fireflies, it doesn't smell like a repackage to me. It might smell like a mixture of some fragrances. So we're gonna see. No, it smells similar to fairy tale. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a dupe. I don't think it's a repackage. I get hints of fairy tale from it. So we're gonna put fairy tale right here. And we're going to let that sit and I'm going to compare after it dries down. The next one I've heard a few people say it is, is Dahlia. That is a repackage of Dahlia. So let's spray Dahlia. And we're going to see. Again. I feel like it's similar to Dahlia. I don't feel like it's a repackage of Dahlia. I don't feel like it's a... No, I don't feel like it's a repackage. So we're gonna put Dahlia right here. And I also heard people say, which I know this doesn't smell like this to me, that it smells like Pure Wonder. So we're gonna spray Pure Wonder. And compare them. Wow. Oh my goodness. I do pick up hints of pure wonder too. I do. Okay. So to me, here, let me smell it. Let's re smell. Y'all, let me tell you this. I feel like chasing fireflies is if you had, ch that they all came together, took a little bit of, I feel, this has jasmine, The and does this have jasmine? Well, this has pear. Okay, so Pure Wonder has the jasmine. Dahlia has the pear. What else is what else is in this? And then does any of them? Okay, I don't see the woodiness, the illuminated woods in any of these fragrance smiths, but in my opinion, chasing fireflies smells like a little bit of each of these just a little bit and then they they took what they wanted from these fragrance mists that are perfuming and smell good and then put it together and made chasing fireflies to me it is similar to each of them but i don't feel like it's a repackage of any of them not in my opinion because to me a repackage is i easily smell dahlia and smell chasing fireflies and go I can't tell them apart. I can tell them apart. Now, keep in mind, I've had Dahlia for a minute. So, you know, it, it, yeah, they do. It smells, they smell very similar. I think Chasing Fireflies smells similar to each of these fragrance mists. So now the question is, Shaughnessy, if I have Pure Wonder, if I have Dahlia, if I have Fairy Tale, do I need Chasing fireflies. I'm gonna say no. And I'm gonna say no because this smells good to me, 
but I feel like I like each of the three fragrance mints I compared it to better. So if I like them better, why do I need the lesser than version of all three of them? But it smells good. It is nice. How much was this? $17.95? If you got it for $4.95, girl, I would say don't worry about it because guess what? Pure Wonder, discontinued. Dahlia, discontinued. Fairy tale online exclusive. So I will say this. If you love all of the fragrance mists, these three I've talked about, and you've used them up, you can't find them anymore. You don't want to pay the upcharge of Macari or eBay or, or Amazon. Girl, go get you Chasing Fireflies. And it will give you, it's not exact, but it will give you the fragrance DNA of these. More and I say the the two it smells chasing fireflies the two I think it smells the most like I think it smells the most like Dahlia and Pure Wonder. I pick up hints of some uh, fairy tale, but to me, chasing fireflies like I said smells the most like Dahlia and Pure Wonder. So like I said, if you have used up all of these. You know, get your chase of fireflies or try it out and see if it will fill the void until maybe Bath and Body Works brings one of these back. You know, fairy tale you can get online. But Pure Wonder and Dahlia, I think Pure Wonder is gone now. I think it is, y'all. I've I heard it was being repackaged. Wait a let's let's smell it again. No, I don't. Huh? No, it doesn't smell exact. It doesn't smell exact. And I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, so to me, Chasing Fireflies is nice. I'm not going to return it, I don't think. Um, I might, though. Who knows, y'all? But I got this for $4.95. Didn't I? Yeah, I'm not returning this. Now, if I paid $17.95 for it, this is going to be bad. But $4.95, I'm going to keep it. Even though I feel like it smells like all three of these and these uh, fragrance mists I mentioned, I feel like are smell better. You know, th they've been sitting. So this one will sit. It'll get better because I do like it. It's not a bad scent. Not at all. Okay, y'all. So I don't need to rank these others because they are kind of, they're kind of separate. But you know what? I'll do it anyway because Lee's is number three. Um, Chasing Fireflies is going to be number two and together weather is going to be number one because I, I really do enjoy the way it smells okay y'all so those were my thoughts on the new releases for my part one of fall one release um if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and tell me your thoughts on the new fragrance mist for fall from bath and body works i would love to know please share this video with everybody y'all because we are still trying to grow over here and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye